there can only be one, and this is the one. Now, it does say 480 on the seat, right? So you think it's a mild-mannered 480? No, this has been bored to five, 491. The engine's been professionally built by Jeff Castine, the manic mechanic, so it's had a full crank-up rebuild. I'm going to start on the motor because that's what it's really about. Just another rehash. A CR500, guys, just re reiterate, a CR500 is 491 cc's. This is normally 480. It's been bored to 491. Jeff did a complete rebuild on the motor, split the engine cases, but put brand new crank bearings, crank seals. All the seals and gaskets on the engine have been replaced. The uh, cylinder has been bored uh, two millimeters over with a Pro X piston in there. It's got a new crank rod. It's got new lower end bearing, main bearings. It's got new crank bearings. It's got new top end bearings, new wrist pin, circlips, obviously rings, base gasket and head gasket. It's a brand new motor and it pulls like a freaking freight train. About the only thing I would think about doing to this thing at this point is putting the, the C, uh, a PWK Air Striker carb on it. That, it. It probably wouldn't pull any better on the low end, might pull a little low, a better down low. Um, but it is, now it looks like a 480, it's a 491. It looks like a, a 480 front end, it's not. This is a CR500 front end. Huge upgrade over the, the, the CR480, mainly the brake system. It has the, the uh, Nissan uh, dual piston caliper, rotor, brake line, and master cylinder. So the entire front end is all brand new CR500 replacement over the 480. This is a absolutely stunning machine. If you're looking for a air-cooled race weapon, there's only one in my opinion, and this is it, the 480. This has a five-speed transmission on it. Also, lots of upgrades have been done, like the DG pipe, DG silence, $500 kit, the, the pipe and silencer. Uh, it's got a new pipe and silencer, and the engine's brand new. The seat cover's brand new. The front fender's new. The front number plate, the original gas tank's in mint shape. The side covers are new. The rear fender's new. Um, estimated total investment in parts and labor, about $7,000 on the resto model, call it. Uh, it's got an upgraded later model shock on it also. As you can see, it's got a new chain of sprockets on it. It's got a nice set of Michelin tires on it. Um, just a kick-ass piece, man. Michelin front tire, Michelin rear tire. It hooks up beautifully. These front ends, I love these uh, early CR 85, 86, 87, 88 forks are, are better than the 89s. Actually, everybody knows that. They, they uh, went backwards when they went to the upside-down forks. Kick-ass machine. The frame's in, in mint condition. There's only um, uh, a couple dings on the right side frame rail, and the left side frame rail is like brand new. The original foot pegs, here's an indication, a low hour bike, the original foot pegs aren't bent or broken. The original uh, brake lever is not bent or broken. Pegs and peg mount mounts are in excellent shape. Swing arms in beautiful condition, and the rims are nice and straight. So just a kick-ass ripper, absolute rocket machine. June, you want to add anything about this? Yeah, definitely. If you're racing the 80s class, uh, the front end conversion, that's huge. Uh, if you saw Rhino riding his 86 CR250 at Loretta Lynn's and just schooling the new four strokes with, uh, you know, the suspension uh, has had a lot of revisions, but, uh, you know, you can still go out with something like this and, and uh, hand it to the four strokes and compete against new bikes. She's ready to roll for vintage racing. Line it up. Lots of new hardware on it, including the new aluminum handlebars. Real nice upgrade on the crossbar pad. New set of Ori grips. Uh, the throttle, uh, Whirlpool throttles in mint shape. Uh, the, the aluminum lever is, is new on this side, and uh, on this side is aluminum also. Just a kick-ass piece, ready to rip, rip, rip. If you have any questions about it, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.